Hello everyone, welcome to another series uh, on my channel. And this is series is titled uh, Radiation Heat Transfer. This is my learning journal. Um, so it's not quite me um, teaching you uh, how to do radiation. It is me as a grad student. Uh, I'm interested to learn and research on radiation, uh, radiative heat transfer, uh, the phenomena at least, uh, at a graduate level. And well, um, I will be going through this book by Michael F. Modest uh, on radiation heat, radiative heat transfer to study you know, graduate level um, radiation. And my hope is that as I uh, learn this uh, stuff and I present as I learn, uh, you might find something useful along as well because um, I'm coming from a student's perspective and I'll probably carry a lot of the same confusion many people uh, here are having. So it's not um, teaching per se, but it's um, as I learn, I present, and we, we make adjustment from there on. So it's more, more of a journal than a teaching, if anything else, but if it helps in your learning journey, it is great as well. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to start. Um, this is a graduate level uh, kind of a learning journal series and um, what, what we already should know is the three basic laws, three basic uh, means of uh, heat transfer, conduction, convection and radiation. So in conduction we will have uh, Fourier's law dominating, in convection we will have um, some uh, heat flux that's proportional to a heat transfer coefficient multiply into the temperature difference between uh, whatever wall uh, it can be a wall it can be a cylinder and then this is the bulk temperature of the fluid it could be a mean bulk temperature of that sort um, anyway this this will this we won't touch so much on what uh, what we do know is also that um, for radiation it should be proportional so if you want to type this symbol this is very interesting prop 2 and that, that's how you type it. <clears throat> so use Microsoft Equation Editor, alternate equal, and then you type prop2 with a backslash. Okay, so radiation uh, heat transfer is proportional to the difference um, temperature to the power of 4 between the black body and the environment. So we'll, we'll start from there, assume you have some basic uh, undergraduate heat transfer knowledge. And without further ado, let's take a look at um, where to start. So uh, this book goes through, you know, the basic definitions. Probably the first thing uh, we want to know is that uh, thermal radiation is a electromagnetic wave. So right, uh, thermal radiation is an electromagnetic wave. And this, this falls into the infrared region, right? So basically since it's an electromagnetic wave we'll have to consider you know some some parts of um, electromagnetism like this uh, the refractive index so again some recap on uh, terms okay uh, refractive index so according to their book, the formula is as such, C equals to C0 divided by N. Alright, so N is the refractive index, C0 is the um, speed of light in the vacuum, 2.998 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. Alright, again I'm using alternate equal to quickly come in and out of the equation editor. So this is the speed of light in whatever medium with the reflective, uh, refractive index n. I can even do something like this to just make it clear. All right, so this is uh, what it is. And there are a fair number of uh, important definitions that will pop up again and again. Some other definitions we must know. Okay, so I'm going to use this book very heavily. All right, so first thing is frequency. So if you have studied wave uh, before in basic physics, C equals to nu, which is the frequency, and lambda. Lambda is for electromagnetic waves. So 
at least in the vacuum this rule has to follow um, c equals to new f lam uh, new lambda and if let's say there's a refractive index then you have some uh, cn new is the same okay frequency is it just depends on the source it depends on the energy of the photon uh, but what happens is that the wavelength will start to change so usually it is the uh, wavelength that will change so let's say in a refractive uh, index uh, let's say uh, some sort of electromagnetic radiation goes through glass the wavelength will be squished and the uh, well the the um, frequency is the same because that that determines the the uh, the energy of the photon so if you still remember epsilon or energy of the photon equals to h uh, nu okay some people like to write hf because f is frequency but for this case we will use nu and something we may or may not have heard of uh, the wave number okay so we have this thing called a wave number as well uh, maybe new to some you know, it was certainly new to me when i'm starting this um because i don't take much electromagnetic theory at all so uh how does it how is it being defined let's take a look at the reference okay i'm going to shift this around maybe here right so new equals to omega over 2 pi all right maybe i'll put the bottom left corner uh, Yeah, give me a little better font. Yeah, much better. The font size will, will help remove that blockage, you know. Okay, so new equals to omega over 2 pi. Let's write that down. New equals to omega over 2 pi. All right. And that is, what is omega? Omega is the angular frequency. So if we studied simple harmonic motion, you will you will see some sort of uh, some sort of uh, equation like this for equal sine omega t. So omega t omega is the uh, angular frequency. So uh, that's just a refresher on what it is. But more interestingly, uh, for us will be the wave number. So if we sub this equation in. And then we we just uh, do a do some substitution. Okay, we find that nu equals to c over lambda. Okay, okay, nu equals to c over lambda, and that is equals to c eta. Okay, c eta. So eta is the wave number. Eta is basically one over lambda. So this is wave number. All right. So. Well, uh, first time you hear, you might be scared of it. Maybe it may seem a bit scary, but doesn't really matter. So yeah, wave number is one over lambda. Nothing too much there. Okay. So if you see wave number in that sense, um, yeah, you just got to know what. And of course, uh, yes, we go on through this. E equals to H nu. We have seen this before. And yeah, so these are the basic um, basic laws okay these are the basic laws and for this equation you see here it is basically saying for light with a photon energy or frequency of let's say a electron volt it has a wavelength in the vacuum of this much so that's just a simple correlation between the wavelength of um, yeah um, wavelength of uh, of the um, yeah photon wavelength of the photon and the energy of the photon so yeah that, that is it okay so where is the electromagnetic uh, electromagnetic spectrum where is thermal radiation we see the uh, lambda in microns how many microns 10 to the minus 1 to 10 to the 2 microns okay so 10 to the minus 1 microns, it's uh, 10 to the minus uh, 7, uh, 10 to the minus 7 uh, meters. Okay, so 10 to the minus 7 meters. So let's see, wavelength 
thermal radiation 10 to the minus 7 meters 2 okay 10 to the 2 meters all right so these 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 are the basic things all right so i'll stop here uh, these these are just basic laws and definitions probably the next part we will take a look more at the uh, black bodies okay black bodies and we'll stop here uh, thanks thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time